All right. It is episode two of season 11 of The Walking Dead. Last week, Negan may have uh, gone into some of his old ways. But knowing him, he's always got a plan. No matter how depraved it is, he is, he is working on the best plan that makes sense for him. And uh, before I get started, I want to point out that, yes, this is my John Dory in memoriam hat that I wore on fear. And I've worn it before that, but that was the main reason I was wearing it then. But now it's my I have a crush on Paola Lazaro and she has a great hat collection hat. So, yeah. And it seems like Princess is going to be in this episode, so, yeah. Can't wait. <laughs> I ain't worried about Maggie, she's gonna get out of it. Although that gun did not help. That's just gonna bring more. Oh, so they're they're doing just like just like Glenn. They made it seem like Glenn was dead. Like all the walkers came down on him, but there was like very strategic camera angling that made it pretty obvious to me at least that he wasn't dead and I know they did not bring Maggie back after such a long absence to, to just kill her off like this. Glenn it was a dumpster with Maggie it's a train car. I like this big guy. I feel like he's just gonna be another big old teddy bear just like Jerry. Lying's only gonna make it worse when they find out she's not dead. He can call his lawyer. He has one. We brought a TV and a DVD player down here. That was optimistic. Uh, the bunny! They found a, a lonely bunny in the last episode. Poor kids. Honestly, hearing that screaming, I'd follow Doc. I'll tell you, some dogs, they're total idiots. <laughs> but others, they they figure things out and help their uh, help their humans in ways they didn't realize they could have been helped. I'm not sure why you're here. You've already been assessed. <laughs> Is that what you call it? You think you've been assessing me? No, Deb. I've been assessing you. <laughs> you probably had a job like this before the world fell. If I had to guess, I'd say forensic psychologist. I would totally watch. Perhaps you were uh, an academic. A courtroom crime Except drama where Yumiko was the main character. Your role is to assess threat for your community. You raked one of my people over the coals due to a two dollar bill, which makes me believe your currency is the U.S. dollar, and that you need to strictly control the amount in circulation. <laughs> You use familiar money as a powerful psychological tactic because you know how desperately people miss the old world. She is reading them. But you're both people that follow the rules. I was a lawyer. I like rules. They bring order to the chaos. Which means you need me. I have reason to believe my brother, a thoracic surgeon, is living out the Commonwealth and is living... He was a surgeon. Oh. Is that the roof? Walkers. You know who it is. It's the Lewis. It's Morse code. It's SOS. And it's very angry, SOS. <laughs> Hi. I slipped. He saw, and he left me to die. Yeah. Okay. So, 
Tried to kill him. Negan's brutal honesty is admirable. Help. There is a big difference. Who are you guys got your back? You don't need fingers to count that number. She's just talking about murdering Sooner rather than later. And yet somehow, I'm a big old asshole because I didn't risk my nuts for her. Help! Oh, yeah. Some of the ones who ran off. Him and C. Thomas Howell. If we open that, they'll all get in. Take this! No, please. Tell me the hell with you. Oh. Alvin? Are you insane? Move! Move! Wow. Reggie? Reggie! Open the door! Oh my god. I'm sorry. I can't. Why? Good luck to you, kid. Oh. I feel like he was trying to die before they could get him, but I feel like he might still be just a little bit alive for this. Man. Oh my god. Okay, so Maggie, you do realize you just did exactly what Negan did with you. Right? Same justification? Just a you were a little better at surviving than that kid was. That kid was a jerk, but that is that is a pretty ugly way to die. Pardon me, I've been waiting for my friend Yumiko. She's in that room right there. I was wondering if you might be able to provide or procure for me an ETA for when she might be done. No one's in there. But no, what's my friend walk in there with the two questioners and I haven't seen her or them walk out. If you could just check. No one is in there, sir. What kind of mind game is this? Oh, he's back. I followed him back to his house. I held a knife to his throat and reached into his pocket. I pulled out the chloroform rag he was going to use on me. Hmm. Stuffed it in his mouth. They came after me. But I handled them. And then the house was quiet. This is freaking me out. Except for this thudding sound that was coming from upstairs in the attic. Her arms and her legs had been cut off, mm. stitched up. Her eyes gouged out. No tongue. And she was wheezing through an open, cauterized gash in her throat. Oh my god. And her belly was round and full. And whatever was inside of there was trying to get out. Mm. And I went upstairs and there were three more just like her. But their hearts were still beating. And do you know the first thing I thought? The very first thing that crossed my mind? They're alive. There must be food to you. So I took care of them. And then I found the food. Lots Dang. Of this. And Herschel and I filled the cart with it. This has been a lot. We left. I don't feel anything when I tell you that. Maggie. So why did you leave? Why didn't you go home? Well, that was confirmation that, yes, if a, a baby dies in a, a pregnant woman's, in, inside a pregnant woman, it's going to turn inside her. And if she's alive when it turns, then it's going to claw her insides up until she dies. Well, 
Your seat's on a cell. What happened to him? How bad is it? It ain't good. Uh, you a top sign? Yeah. Bad idea. A grenade. Tell my kids I did die, Cal. It's like season one wreck. So you want Daryl to lie to your kids then? You say at least be nice enough to put him down. That's too many. That is way too many. Ho ho ho! That's a big moment. Oh, that is such a cool camera angle. Oh, here it goes. <laughs> oh, 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 my God. Oh, bravo. Don't get me more badass than Daryl. Nope. Man dog. Yeah. I mean, th those were walkers that have been down there 10 plus years. So that that wasn't blood that sprayed all over that train car. That was sludge. So it's extra nasty, but still pretty cool. Ah, shank. Well, what have you done with my traveling companions? They're being processed. <laughs> processed as in administratively? Uh, processed as in bologna or other meat stuff that require my needs to know. I think that you can lie for shit. <laughs> I, so don't lie. I'm going to give you two questions. You're going to give me two answers. Truthful ones. I feel like these you are going to be very hard questions, you though. You should see your friends again. Everything will be okay. It's that simple. I haven't always been the most emotional fella in my 10,000 plus hours of death, loss, and fear have opened me up a little bit. In the course of our travels, I found this radio. Night after night, I would speak into the void, holding on to a, a what if. As fools were wont to do, and I'm nothing if not a fool. <laughs> Still seems like he's sticking Your to the story. He's not saying where his settlement is. We got to talking and she was not repulsed by my musings. <laughs> I got my friends to go to that train yard under the guise of asking whoever showed up for help for us three because I knew they wouldn't go otherwise. So yes, I lied. I've been lying this whole time because I'm afraid to lose the three friends I have in this world. And I lied to Stephanie about being from a large settlement because I was afraid that maybe she was not who she said she was. That maybe she was a femme fatale, laying a trap for a lonely heart. My track record in the romantic realm is spotty at best. I'm not one for mm, whom any yeah. relationship come easy, particularly those with the fairer sex. And I am, in fact, a virgin. Oh. Even though I have uh, observed the act far more times than I've ever me. <laughs> he used to watch Abraham and Rosita. Deep down, I was hoping that maybe, in fact, she was my one true love. Aww. And now I've been forced to admit that in this room, and I'm humiliated by it. <laughs> I 
I'm afraid that if Stephanie finds out that I wasn't honest with her either, that she might want to have nothing to do with me anymore. <laughs> so here I am. I was not expecting this much depth Very for relieved to get Eugene. That as I've been getting. everything else I've said up to this point is a goddamn truth. He did not rat out Alexandria or the hilltop. Nope. But... The rest of it, I believe him. That is why he wanted to make this journey. Yeah. Where'd they take you? An infirmary. A medic steam my face gave me this nasty herbal cough syrup and I slept. They spiked the cough syrup? <laughs> no, no, they took the lantern out of my room and I fell asleep. They <laughs> checked on me a couple of times and then they brought Yumiko to visit. And then they took us to a holding room with Princess and then they brought us here. You have successfully completed initial processing and consideration for asylum and citizenship in these United Townships. All right. When you walk through these doors, you'll be escorted to orientation by a beam cop. <laughs> Welcome to the Commonwealth. <laughs> I bet what the hell takes you away to be all the question. Which one of you is Eugene? Georgie set him up all over in case we ran into any trouble when we were out with the just about it. Has ammo, food. Well, that would have been nice to know about before. Rest up there, restock in the pantry. Or is it just enough, like, Radio for a small group like delivery. this? Mm. I have a feeling like we're about to meet some new friends. Last time I was there. Back. Cut. Oh, well, there he goes. Oh. Wait, did that cut his hand off? Yes, it did. Oh, my God. The Reapers. Well, that episode was so much. Maggie telling us that story about the the pregnant women she found with their arms and legs cut off and their eyes gouged out and their tongues ripped out. That was that was almost too much for me. And there's not a lot that phases me after 11 seasons of this show. Six of Fear, and then one of World Beyond. But that, that was, uh, that was next level. And, uh, Eugene, that, uh, that was also really emotional for me. Just because, like, Eugene's always the character I've related to the most. Because, uh, I myself have not had the best luck with the ladies in my life. But, uh, I think he might be finally... Getting himself a break. And, speaking of Eugene, this coming Saturday, I am going to Fan Expo Boston, and I am cosplaying as Eugene. There's going to be a few Walking Dead people there. Uh, they're going to have Chandler Riggs, a.k.a. Carl. They got Simon, Merle, uh, a Beta. And uh, Robert Patrick is there. I, I mean, I, he's there for, like, most of the other stuff he's done in his career. But, you know, I might still say hi to him. And, you know, ponder the what-ifs of if Eugene and Maze ever got to meet each other. And, uh, yeah. This episode was, uh... This was a heavy one. And, uh... 
I, for one, appreciate The Walking Dead still being able to to hit deep in the 11th and final season.